Hello friends, have you ever wondered how you can make your MATLAB to read something for you? Or in other words, have you ever wondered how you can convert a text into an speech, an audio speech in your MATLAB? It's very simple. So in this video, I'll show you how you can write a small script using which you can make your MATLAB read or something for you. Say, so say for example, if you are having some kind of text or some kind of uh, ebook or something you can quickly pass it on to your MATLAB as an input and it will read out the complete book for you or complete text or complete article for you. So let's uh, start how we can do it. So in MATLAB directly it is not possible uh, using a, like any other API so in this video what I will show you is using the .NET uh, libraries available from the uh, Windows. So first let's create a script uh, or you can let, 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 let me go first with the script empty script and I'll save it saying text to speech yeah so as I told directly uh, of course you can use some signal processing and all those things but in this video to make it simple I'll just use the dotnet uh, libraries and I will add .NET libraries into uh, my uh, this one MATLAB add assembly and I'll add the uh, speech system dot speech so this way we have added uh, our system speech uh, uh, library to about uh, this particular MATLAB. Now we can create an object to which 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 we can use to read out the text which we want uh, to for um, for our uh, MATLAB to read. So say for example my speaker, and that will be so system dot speech dot synthesis dot speech synthesizer yeah. so we will be using the speech synthesis synthesizer for this and now I think more or less our uh, basic object is ready we can use this object to speak out or uh, something so we can just use speak and in the speaker I can use this as I can use this my speaker as an object and then I can pass some hello world now let's simulate and see what it happens hello world perfect so you saw my my MATLAB was able to read what whatever I typed here. So let let me type something. Or this is programmers or YouTube channel connect here to know everything about. MATLAB simulating and Android. So these are my specialization. So I, I do I do coding in this thing. So probably I'll just use this. I'll break this. Okay, didn't work out. Control G. Probably a wrong place to break. G. Oh, probably what I can do is probably I, I I'll just leave it like this, yeah, for a time being, because it's, it's I'm trying to break it, uh, but it it seems to be like since it's a long paragraph, the other option is I can use a concatenation, but over here for a time being I, I'll leave it as it is. Okay, so once we are done, if you notice that our sp the speed with which it was reading was very slow, so let me increase the speeds a bit. So 
what I can do is I can just set the speed for my speaker dot so these are the options which you can set so I will play with option rate and the rate will set the speed of my speech it should be between minus 10 and plus 10 so I think uh, let's let's first start with one and see how is the speed hello world this is programmers world YouTube channel connect here to know everything about MATLAB send a link and Android <laughs> that's also pretty fast so I, I will just go with zero and see if it's okay hello world this is programmers world YouTube channel yeah connect here so to it, know everything it, it about MATLAB send a link and Android yeah so zero is the normal speed you can just play with the speed you can go with maximum say for example I will go with 10 it will be very very fast listen carefully I can't make any sense of it so I'll just make it five hello world this is programmers world YouTube channel connect here to know everything about MATLAB send a link and Android perfect okay and, and if you want to go for slow I'll go for minus five and see Hello world. This is programmer. So it, it so it will drag channel. us very slow. Also, what you can, can do is you can set the volume. Everything about MATLAB. Send you a link and Android. So you can set the volume over here, and volume can be between a zero to hundred. So right now I think by default it's maximum. So I will go for a lower volume. Probably in this YouTube channel, you may not be able Hello, to. World. This is programmers world. Yeah, so if you if you channel. see the volume has gone down, so Everything and more of us I'll change changes to zero again. And Android. Yeah, so this way you can uh, control various properties of your speaker. You can control the speed. You can you can control the volume. Again, in one of my other videos, I've shown this. Um, app designer using which you, you, you can uh, get these parameters from the interface and then control those uh, values here and uh, and if you are wondering that what happens when you are controlling these parameters so actually what we are doing over here is this library which we are using is provided by our operating system in windows we are reusing it so if you want to figure out where this library exists or how you can control from outside of MATLAB you should go to your control panel in Windows uh, operating system and go to this ease access inside ease access you will get this speech recognition just go inside that and here you will find text to speech so once you go there you will see that you can control the speed over here this is the uh, like speech uh, speed and you can control various settings over here so basically we are controlling this window through our uh, MATLAB programming okay so further uh, I would like to also show you what more you can do here you can convert this into a function called uh, say for example text to speech and pass an input argument called uh, uh, my text okay and now we will pass this my text and we will read this my text in one of our uh, so I will just I just commented out that line and probably what I will do is I will replace this complete part with my text yeah so now it becomes a function and now I can use this function and pass whatever I want to pass over here as an input argument uh, and it will read out that. So say for example for this in this example I will pass it on my this particular text. Hello world. This is programmers world YouTube channel here to know everything about MATLAB simply link and Android so you saw like uh, you can pass any of your so over here we have hard coded text over here you can also read the text from your any of the files you can import it using a different uh, import file import commands you can also read the directly the web pages using the URL read or web read commands so there are various options 
before I end, I will also like to show that uh, you can uh, control this uh, values through any of these uh, workspace variables. So you can define the workspace variable, say for example, rate equal to um, zero, and then you can just directly give over here this rate. So, so, and and then you can pass it like this. Oh, of course you will have to pass the rate also as an input argument over here so you can pass rate as an input argument and no and over here we can have rate as an input argument no it will work fine ah, okay I, I think I should have hello world. yes this is Programmer's World YouTube channel. Connect here to know everything about MATLAB, Simulink, and Android. So this is how we can pass the different variables and parameters to learn our code in a function and then you can use this snip, snippet of code anywhere in your uh, different applications to read fancy text and uh, show and just show it to your, uh, share it with your colleagues and uh, peers. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please put it in my comment section. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.